Green Schools Alliance Coordinator, Coordinator Webinar. As you all know, and I just introduced myself, my name is Curry Rosado, and I'm the Green Schools Alliance Director of Communications and Outreach. And I have the pleasure of every day working for you. You are the Green Schools Alliance as an organization created by Schools for Schools. We are here, and I am here, and really excited to work with you to help further our joint mission. Because together, we're going the Green Schools movement. So as sustainability leaders in your school, and as Green Schools Alliance regional and state coordinators, you all know, and we are so incredibly appreciative of you being our eyes and ears in your states and in your regions, and you're taking sustainability actions and accelerating change. And I am here to help support your efforts and also the efforts of our member schools. It's been really fun, you know, specifically David and um, others I've had a chance to meet this summer at the Student Climate and Conservation Congress. And for many of you, I've had a chance to speak with you on the phone and we've communicated through Skype and Google Hangouts and emails. So it's really exciting to get to know this incredible leadership network, and um, I'm just really delighted to know each of you. So thanks again today for your time to be on this webinar and to learn more about the coordinator team, and also particularly at this really busy time of year. We really appreciate it. And as always, we're so thankful for your leadership at your school and in your community and with the Green Schools Alliance worldwide. So I know that Varendra and Lawrence are both on the phone, and I just wanted to share a special um, note of thanks to them. I believe Varendra calling in from India, that is, let's see, really late at night for you. And Lawrence, I'm not quite sure exactly what time it is for you in Malaysia, but thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we are going to start with, <laughs> oh, you just woke up. <laughs> That's great. I'm glad I can hear your voice. Thanks. Um, moving on, and I, again, I apologize for those of you that have just hopped on. I'm clicking through these slides in order for you to be able to see the slides. We're having a small technical difficulty, um, but I think that you should be able to see my, my talking points. So on our webinar today, we're going to start with introductions. It's incredible, each of you, for, being, for the work that you're doing and for being on this webinar. So we'll start with some introductions. And then we'll go into a little bit of the Green Schools Alliance history and also what it is to be a Green Schools Alliance member. We'll talk about coordinator roles and responsibilities. I mean, even we're on this call today. And then next steps as a coordinator. And we'll have some time for questions and for comments and for sharing. And I just wanted to check in with everyone. Um, if you could send me a quick chat to say yes or no if you're able to see the presentation that I have on the screen. I think we might be having additional technical difficulties. You want to just type it in? David, there you are. Thanks. You can just tell uh, me. I forget I can hear your voice. Yeah. I can see. Do you see it? Do you see the slide that yeah. says webinar okay. overview? Yep. Okay, great. Great. Thanks. Just wanted to check in. So let's go with introductions. And David, since you've been so kind and vocal, let's let's start with you. If you could say your name and your title um, and your school where you work as as well as the community where your school is. The and title will start with you. Well, yeah. Title exactly. Your multiple titles okay. would be fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm the um my name is David Havens. I'm the environmental coordinator at St. Luke's School in Duquesne, Connecticut. My job at the, at the school is to teach environmental science as well as be the face of environmental science for the school, our, our league, and our, our community. Great. That's, Thanks that's so much, David. Thank you. And Amelia, you're here. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yes. Yes. Amelia Luke. I am the Director of Sustainability at uh, Marist. School um, at the 7 through 12 school in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, we are a day school um, that has become very green over the past couple of years. Through a, a lot of help goes to the green school. Great, thank you so much, Amelia. And Varendra, would you like to introduce yourself? We might. 
calling in all the way from the Gujarat region in India. I think we're having some difficulty hearing him. If you don't mind, I'll introduce you on your behalf. Um, Varendra Rawat is the director of a school, BK9 school, in the Gujarat region in India, and he's the regional coordinator, um, the Green school, a Green Schools Alliance regional coordinator in India, and is just doing incredible outreach work, as each of you are. Um, he is outreaching schools in India to not only become Green Schools Alliance members and to grow the Green Schools movement there, but also is playing a key role in helping us as a network of schools to launch the Green Schools Alliance India chapter in partnership with Terry, the Energy Resources Institute organization in India. So we're really excited to be working with him, and thank you so much for being on the call tonight for Indra, or this morning. <laughs> in your case, it's Friday for you. And Lawrence, would you be able to introduce yourself? Yeah, can you hear me? Uh, I'm Lawrence. Great, Myers. we can hear you. Okay, that's great. I'm the uh, Sustainability and Service Learning Coordinator at the International School of Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. And uh, this is a relatively new position. Basically, I'm a teacher that's become sort of a hybrid teacher facility. He's a person. My job is to bring everything together under the sustainability umbrella. And uh, it's a full-time position as of three years ago. So our school is sort of moving relatively quickly in an attempt to, to give time, I guess, to the whole sustainability concept. And so we're working on uh, developing standards and benchmarks and things like that. And uh, I work with classes basically from pre-kindergarten all the way through 12. I don't have any classes of my own. Uh, and I work with teachers for um, uh, professional development uh, things and the development of curriculum as well as with facilities people. And we're in the process of, of starting a new campus sort of, we're, we're hoping to move campus in about three or four years. And so we're hoping to work with the local government and the architects here to make our new campus the Malaysian equivalent of LEED, I guess, which is called GBI. Uh, but we want the whole campus to be platinum. And it's really the first time anything like that happens in this entire region, so we're pretty excited about that. And I'll be quiet now. <laughs> Well, we are really excited too. And again, Lawrence, thank you so much. You know, this is uh, it sounds like for you. Did you say it's morning, morning for you as well? Yeah. Yeah, it's about Great. 15 minutes. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Yeah. <laughs> and cool. thank you for being thank with you. us. <laughs> Fantastic. So, Andra, would you like to introduce yourself? Um, hi, I'm okay. the Director of Sustainability oh, at, um, can you hear me? Yeah, at Bishop O'Dowd yeah. High School in Oakland, California, and um, we just, I just got hired on this year, so we're just starting our sustainability initiatives, but I, I think I'm the first full-time sustainability director in Northern California for a high school, so that's kind of exciting for us. Mm -hmm. Good. That's incredibly exciting. Thank you so much, Andrew, for joining the call today. We're really excited to learn more about all the great things going on at Bishop O'Dowd and, and to connect with you, so thanks. I'm also from Northern California. Libby, are you here with us? It says she's here. And she might be telling us that she's not able to hear us. Mm -hmm. So I will introduce Libby. Um, I see her trying to chat. Um, Libby Jones is the Sustainability Coordinator at Sacred Heart of Atherton and is, our, is the Green Schools Lands Regional Coordinator in Northern California and um, anyway, and lives in, obviously in the Bay Area and Sacred Heart has just recently joined the Green Schools Alliance and she's been involved for quite a bit of time now so we're excited to have Libby on our call. So thank you, Libby, for being with us. Okay, and Antonia, if you can hear me, would you introduce yourself? Okay, it seems that mm -hmm. some folks might yeah. be having, they may Curry. Yeah. Hi guys, this is Peg, and I am um, Peg Watson, um, and I am staff of GSA and helping out, and I um, received this email that you know, says thank you for registering, and I clicked on the link, but I have a blue screen. 
Is it possible oh, really? that some yeah that some people have the same thing and are not able? Don't you love technology? It's supposed to set us uh, free, and we spend so much time you know playing with it. Um, yeah. So are you you all can see something, correct? Because yeah, I, I dialed in, but I, I may have been, I may be missing. You know, Peg, something. you might want to try to call back in. It sounds as if David can see it, and, um, and I'm, I'm sorry for that. Unfortunately, I don't have the control over it on this end. Would you okay. be able to call back in? And if there's anyone absolutely, else it, the call is related to the URL. I gotta go. Never mind. Okay, Correct. thanks. I'm gonna hang Correct. up. Okay, thank you. Okay, great. Thanks so, so Curry, this is this is Todd. Um, Hi, Todd. Hey, hey. Um, so, what I should be seeing on my screen is your the PowerPoint that's got introductions up. Is that what I should be seeing? Correct. Exactly. Okay, got it. Got it. I, I have okay, great. That. Thanks for checking in. I'm happy to know that some of you can see it, and I'm, I'm hopeful that the majority can, and hopefully Peg can can just call back in. Todd, while we have you, um, we'd love for you to introduce yourself. Well, uh, sure. Uh, my name is Todd Cosart, and I'm I'm here in California um, at Besant Hill School in in Ojai, and um, I have uh, um, I have I am a the director I have the whole administrative position as a director of sustainability, but I also teach environmental studies. Um, I wear a lot of different hats, but um, for our school, I am uh, the person who is coordinating the strategic uh, sustainability strategic plan for the school. Um, I've been involved um, and a part of well, our school has been a part of the Green Schools Alliance for five years, I guess, um, and we've um, been active in using all the Green Schools Alliance resources, and um, it's wonderful to have an opportunity to, to kind of talk with everybody, um, hey, especially so folks in... Mm -hmm. Sorry, Todd, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, that's okay. That's enough. <laughs> Great. Hey, Thanks hi. for joining us. Can, can anyone hear me? I don't know. If yes, we can. Is, is this Antonio? Oh. Yes, it is. Okay. I, I just, Great. I was afraid to speak up because I didn't. I thought I hadn't clicked the right thing. Okay. So I'm happy to tell you I'm from Friends Seminary in New York City. I have met all the uh, fine people who are also in the city at GSA. And I'm a retired uh, teacher of environmental studies for a long time and now have the first um, position at the School of Sustainability Coordinator and I'm trying to put it all together. It's uh, <laughs> not always a smooth road, but it's our first year. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Antonio, and we'll look forward to hearing more from you. Is there anyone who hasn't had a chance to introduce himself? Um, Katie, for example, I know you're on the call. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, thanks. Um, nice to talk to you all. I know most of you, but there's a few that I don't. So um, just really quick, my name is Katie Perry, and I've been with the Green Schools Alliance for a very long time, working very closely with, with Peg, and so happy to be working with Curry these days. Um, and I spend most of my time running the Green Cup Challenge program, um, which some of you uh, have participated in, and we hope that all of you continue to participate in. Um, so, any questions specifically about that program, you can just, you know throw them away. Um, and Curry, I just wanted to say to point out that there was a chatter on the chat from um, Libby that she's not on a mic, but I think she can hear us. And great. I fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Great. And for those of you, if just to eliminate the noise chatter in the background, if you are able to hit mute um, so that you can hear us, but not able to, you're welcome to unmute when you'd like to participate and talk. That would be fantastic. Thank you. Veronique, you're on the call. Would, oh, you, would you be able to introduce yourself? I can hear me. Yes. Hi, I'm Veronique Pittman, um, and I actually will be uh, doing a webinar tomorrow um, about uploading content to the website, which is something that any school can do. Uh, and it's a, it's the website really is 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 really a large database pretending to be a website because, in fact, what it is is an amazing repository of resources by yourselves that you consider to be local. Uh, uh, useful t uh, t 
to your local community and the world at large, um, and or a combination of both, and um, and if, and uh, an information sharing vehicle for you that um, that I moderate, but am um, you know I'm I know who posts and and am and will do everything I can to you know to give it the maximum visibility. Um, and if you want to learn more about how to upload content um, in a way that is that makes it um, uh, searchable by the people you want to search for it, then please do register for the webinar tomorrow. It's it's short. Um, a lot of what I'll be teaching will apply to uh, all sorts of content types, but I'm going to keep it nice and short. And I really hope that you join this. I know a few of you have actually uh, uh, done this webinar, and I will record it. There is an archive of it um, right now on our webinars page online, but there is one piece of information I want to switch out from the current archive. So uh, please do um, either listen in and ask questions uh, or wait for uh, tomorrow's archive to go up and um, replace the one that's currently up. Thank you all, and I look Thanks. forward to, um, uh, to communicating with you in the future. Great. Thanks, Monique. And Liz, you are on this call. Would you be able to introduce yourself? Sure. Is that, can you hear oh, great. me? Yes, we can. Thanks. I think that's, yes. Oh, good. I'm, I'm, we had a, a mandatory dinner, and I'm using a computer up on campus, so I wasn't sure. But uh, my name is Lizzie Aldrich, and I am the chair of the Sustainability Studies Department at White Mountain School. Um, we've had a sustainability studies program since 2001, so I was lucky to come in here three years ago, and it was already established. And um, I've made a few changes to the academic program, but um, it's a strong program. We have a, a thriving sustainability club, and um, have participated in the Green Cup Challenge, and um, do a variety of different things here. So it's it's great to be the New Hampshire representative, and. Um, my background is I did a PhD in environmental studies, and I've taught environmental science here. And then prior to going to grad school, I taught it for four years. And so um, and I also teach climate and energy class and biology. So that's my background. And um, yeah, I've, I've focused on carbon markets for a long time, and I'm excited to be back in the classroom teaching. So that's what I'm doing. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Lizzie, for being on the call, and thanks to each of you. It's just really humbling to, to work with each of you and the incredible um, education that you're delivering in your schools and engagement of your school communities and your children. It's just, we're just so appreciative and thankful for your leadership. And it's really exciting. I think most of you know I came on board the Green Schools Alliance and at the end of June and had the really wonderful opportunity of having my first week of work at the Student Climate and Conservation Congress, which many of you have been to and we'll talk about later. But it is exciting to learn about our and meet with our founding member schools and also to welcome new schools to the network. But many of our founding member schools, many of the Green Schools Alliance founding member schools are you're here on this call and you want the Green Schools Alliance together and still it's so exciting to see that this peer-to-peer -peer network of schools guiding schools to sustainable solutions is incredibly vibrant and effective and staying connected. And the Green School Alliance has a strong peer-to-peer -peer leadership um, in our core group of coordinators. Many, most of you on this call are, are that group. And, but that being said, there are you know, some folks who have moved on into different positions. So the reason for this webinar and why we're so incredibly excited to reconnect and have you meet each other is that we are excited to grow the core group of coordinators and to bring on other leaders across the world who are interested in taking on a leadership role. So diving into a, the history of the Green Schools Alliance, for some folks, this might be a little new, but I think it's always exciting to remember how the Green School Alliance was established. And that was, of course, by schools in New York City in 2007. Schools came together and said, we've got to work together to reduce our carbon emissions and to take sustainable actions, and truly you know, formed the Green School Alliance in response to the United Nations 
Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or the IPCC report. And the goal of these goals, um, as you many of you know, was to just answer these questions. So what is climate change, and what can schools do about it? And as a result, the school founding schools drafted the climate commitment, and it was an intent to galvanize all schools' efforts around positive change and carbon emissions reductions and um, creating a, a understanding of conservation and protecting for and to protect our environment and our future. So the Green Schools Alliance, as you know, is a network of pre-K through schools represented by you. You are the Green Schools Alliance. Um, your sustainability coordinators and your schools, you might not have, most of you have that title, some of you might not, but it's the Green School Alliance and faculty and staff and students working together to solve climate and conservation challenges. And as you know, you are schools and schools trust schools. You're the Green School Alliance and the fact that schools trust schools is the greatest leverage for change that we have. The Green School Alliance depends on you and your schools to take a leadership role. It's really the key to our success. I really like this picture. It's an example of some of you may have been there, I'm trying, I don't know, the tree planting at Rockaway Park in outside New York City, this, outside Manhattan this past October, was just an incredible example of how Green Schools Alliance member schools, specifically sort of coordinated through the town school in Ken Higgins, came together and brought out volunteers to help plant trees to repair uh, a greenway and it's just incredibly exciting. So the mission of the Green Schools Alliance is to connect and empower pre-K through schools worldwide to lead the transformation to global, to global sustainability. And as you know, the Green Schools Alliance is doing this by providing the unique crowdsourced school-driven website that you've all been on and, and are using and we are excited for that, and also through hands-on programs. Green Schools Alliance schools including each of yours, are hubs in your communities working together across generational and socioeconomic and geopolitical boundaries to really accelerate and achieve an energy smart, sustainable future. It's incredibly exciting, particularly for those of you that have been with the Green Schools Alliance from the beginning, that the Green Schools Alliance is now connecting more than 3,000 schools worldwide and engaging 2 million students in 42 states and in 28 countries and literally growing daily. It's really wonderful to see the schools reaching out on a daily basis. For example, just last week, um, we had a school from Poland join the Green School Alliance. And together, we're making a difference. So we need to move on to what is membership of the Green School Alliance. I mean, you most Everyone on this call is our members of the Green Schools Alliance and, as we mentioned, our founding members. But as an organization created by schools for schools, the Green Schools Alliance staff, you've met us through this call or in person, and our member schools, we're always working together to see how we can grow and support our member engagement. And recently, with your guidance, we convened a peer review of the Green Schools Alliance membership criteria. And as a result of this peer review, we revised membership criteria to be more broad-based with the goal of growing and supporting our membership, or really the schools that are willing to make the sustainability, sustainability a priority. So we wanted to share this, this sustainability commitment with you. As you know, membership to the Green School Alliance is free, and membership, the basis of membership, is a sustainability commitment, which is where members set individual goals, schools set their own goals that are appropriate for them, they take action, and they monitor and share progress along the Green School Alliance sustainability tracks, which are track one, reduce our ecological and climate impact, track two, engage and educate our community, and track three, connect to nature. And as many of you know, on our website, we, the Green School Alliance web platform offers suggested action 
that schools can take in each of these tracks, as well as you know, connecting schools to each other and to resources that are supportive of schools, uh, supportive of your schools accomplishing your goals along these tracks. So specifically, as we talked about the climate commitment, which was just at the core of the Green Schools Alliance and was created by founding member schools, um, the climate commitment is a suggested action in track one, reduce your climate and ecological impact. And many, as many of you know, there are two levels at which founding member schools join the Green School Alliance as a climate champion, pledging to reduce your carbon footprint by 30% within five years and achieving carbon neutrality by 2020, and also with the other level as a climate steward. The Green School Alliance, as you know, is for all schools. It's those who are leading by example and those who wish to get started and, and just want to connect and learn how to engage in sustainable action. So suggested actions in each track are just that. There are suggestions and schools set their own goals, but together Green Schools Alliance schools are celebrating successes and sharing best practices. We just very much mentioned that a little bit through our website and a core way of sharing those best practices and connecting with each other is through the member school profile page pages, which are searchable and enable schools to set your goals. They provide a platform in which you can set those goals, track your progress, share best practices with each other. Because as Veronique mentioned, this, date, it's this website and through the profile pages, the information is searchable. So through these profile pages, you can learn about other schools locally, nationally, and globally. And you can record and report your accomplishments. Um, you might want to, you know, some of you might wonder, why have the profile pages? Is it another thing to do? But these profile pages, again, not only meet you know, as we just explained, but also Green Schools Alliance founding member schools realized that it was exciting to be members of the Green Schools Alliance, but they wanted a way to connect with other member schools locally and globally. And they asked the question of how are we going to do that? And that is true to the Green Schools Alliance. The profile pages were really a, a platform developed thought of by schools, and now they're working. Um, they really are just that, a workhorse for us, a way to report actions, and they function as a searchable database for connecting you with other sustainability coordinators, sharing resources and best practices and tracking results. So we know that they work, which is really exciting. We know that we um, want to encourage schools to continue to upload those profile pages so that they will work. And through our email exchanges, each of you heard from, heard from me, you know, please, when you can, update your profile page. And this is why, because it's how you can connect with each other and learn from each other. But as you do that, we are really excited to get your feedback. We are in a process now where we're connecting the profile pages to the new act, sustainability commitment action tracks and suggested actions. And so as you're going through your profile page here, hopefully soon, definitely let us know how it's going. How is it working? Are there any barriers? Is there something that you need in there? Um, what works? What doesn't work? Please, please, we are incredibly um, interested to hear from you because we'll use your feedback as we are um, you know, revising these profile pages so that they are the most user-friendly profile page that they possibly can be. We really want them to be a useful tool for you. So uh, the peer-to-peer -peer community, again, our online website, as Veronique mentioned, it's a unique crowdsourced website. You each have done this and, and just as a reminder, have the capacity to go in and edit your profile page, to add resources, to add events to the calendar to upload presentations and videos, and we thank you for doing it, and we encourage you to continue to do that, because this is how we can strengthen community locally and globally, and it truly is a way to share our resources with each other. 
So we're going to go in now into the regional state and regional and state coordinator team and talk specifically about roles and responsibilities. That's why you're here. Um, schools trust schools, and our coordinator team, you are it. You are the heart of the Green Schools Alliance, and you help make the Green Schools Alliance peer-to-peer -peer network successful. Just even connecting today is, you know, indication of the success of the network that we're able to talk with each other and learn about what what each other, what we're doing in schools, or what you are doing in schools. So through the regional and state coordinator team, you get to help further this peer-to-peer -peer network, and you'll be sharing information and engaging even more schools so that together we can accelerate the Green Schools movement. So let's look at our roles and responsibilities, and I'm really hoping that my website will work. Yeah, perfect. So the regional and state coordinator team as this team, you're guiding the Green Schools Alliance. You are truly the leaders of the Green Schools Alliance. You are the Green Schools Alliance, and you're guiding as we move into the future. You're able to lead at the local level. You're also, through this network, able to engage with sustainability champions worldwide, just like today. Um, also, you're able to accelerate the Green Schools movement. And we're hopeful that you'll use this leadership opportunity to really leverage your position and expand your professional network with organizations, government institutions, um, nonprofit organizations, NGOs, you know, educational institutions, not only in your community, but statewide and in your region. So the responsibilities of the Green Schools Alliance State Coordinator um, are to, to, you really, as we mentioned, I mentioned earlier, are the eyes and ears in your communities. And we look to you to identify and introduce other schools or associations to the Green School Alliance, to encourage member schools to update their profile page, and to participate in Green School Alliance programs, to help coordinate and, to, excuse me, to help coordinate school hosted events. Many of you like, have hosted. Green Schools Alliance events and represent Green Schools Alliance at state conferences when you're able to. To collaborate with our staff, with specifically I can be your lead to help host events and resources on our website and in social media and to forward any announcements that we might have. For example, we'll be, I'll be supporting you by providing language that you can just then give and share through your school network because they will certainly trust you. Um, also, a role and responsibility is either to write an article or to encourage a local member school to write an article for the Green Journal or the student blog, and also to participate in a biannual conference call, which we will set up. Regional coordinators' roles and responsibilities are really to, and many of you are on this call tonight and thank you, um, to participate with state coordinators in, the, in a broad coordinating role for your region. And you really serve as an additional point of contact for state coordinators, an incredible advisor to the Green Schools Alliance. And we also will have biannual conference calls. Um, we are okay, moving on. So next steps as state coordinators and regional coordinators. We are excited to support and encourage you to update your profile page. Um, you, are, you are the leaders. So the more information that you're able to record and share on your profile page is much appreciated and hopefully will help you connect and others connect with you. We will be providing information specifically, I will, that you can forward to encourage new schools to join the Green School Alliance and make the sustainability commitment. Um, we also encourage you to post and share information about events in your area and in your state, your region, as well as resources. And also, um, we are so appreciative of your efforts to encourage participation in Green Schools Alliance programs, such as the Green Cup Challenge, which has a deadline coming up. Um, many of you have participated and know these programs very well. But so we are so appreciative of your help to outreach and engage new schools, member and non-member schools, in the Green Cup Energy Challenge. Registration is coming up on December the 20th. The National Energy Challenge, as many of you know and are already registered for, starts on January the 15th. 
So I'll be sending you information on that. We also are re already looking forward to and planning with our partners at the Fish and Wildlife Service the Student Climate and Conservation Congress for next summer, which will be June 22nd through the 28th. And registration will be opening next week, and we're really excited to help get students and faculty involved in that. We also um, will be appreciative of your help to engage folks with our publications, writing for the Green Journal, um, outreaching for the Green Power Purchasing Consortium, creating, we have, David is leading this effort of a group of GSA member schools who are aggregating and will be sharing school-generated curriculum. Because we know that it's, it's just incredible and we want to make sure that it can be shared with the greatest number. Thank you for that. GSA X events, which are really start happening here this spring. And we're incredibly excited and we'll be sharing information with each of you to outreach, hopefully this spring, um, the opportunity to participate in citizen science through a partnership that we are working on with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. The really excited, um, exciting programs coming up, and we're just really thrilled and appreciative of your efforts to outreach and engage more and, and work together with us. So I wanted to stop talking now. Thank you all for your patience. And I wanted to have an opportunity for everyone to hear from our founding member schools and Green School Alliance, regional coordinators who have been involved for quite some time. And specifically, um, you know, my question, and perhaps Todd and, and David and Amelia on the phone, you might be able to share with the group just your experience as in this leadership position with the Green Schools Alliance and how it has you know, benefited you personally and professionally and in your in your state. Amelia, do you if you're able to hear us or do you have anything you can share? All right, she might not be hearing us. Todd, are you with us or, or David? Yeah. Yeah. Great. I am. Can you hear me okay? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, I, well, I didn't put my computer on mute. I apologize. Oh, great. No, can you all hear me? Well, yeah, we can. We'll let Amelia, we'll let Todd speak, and then we would love to hear from you. Well, in, for the most part, from I, I would say professionally has not been particularly important to me. Um, mainly what my, my focus has been has been creating an opportunity for um, our students to be a part of this conversation. So one of the great things that we've been able to um, really work together on with it in our particular re region is to, um, to have a yearly Green Schools um, conference um, that allows the students and, and faculty to be able to come together and share their programs with each other in an intimate way and then also have an opportunity to meet people from the larger community that are doing, um, that are doing really good work um, in the areas of sustainability. And then our, our students have also um, participated with the SC3, which is uh, truly probably, in my opinion, one of the, um, I'm assuming I'm kind of preaching to the choir here, but as far as I'm concerned, it is one of the best um, conferences that is designed for students to um, engage um, in, in sustainable um, action and to be able to network with each other and find ways to create um, social media networks with each other that are lasting and, and uh, allow them to really do great work together on, on a larger scale. Um, and I would, you know, one of the things that we have been working on as much as possible is to try and bring the schools of the region together um, and um, engage in the kinds of conversations that allow the students to see ways that they can be active and involved. Uh, so, man, shit. So that's kind of, you know, from from my perspective, one one of the things that the Green Schools Alliance has created is this wonderful grassroots network for us to be able to communicate about what we're doing, allow our students to communicate about the kinds of things that they can do as, um, um, you know, as, as people of action and, and um, 
I really like the fact that it's been a grassroots um, organization from its beginning and continues to be. Thank and you, upset. Todd. <laughs> thank you, Todd. <laughs> thank you for all you're doing, and thanks for sharing with the group. Amelia? Sorry about that. Sorry to interrupt you too, Todd. I, I was all of a sudden startled when I realized nobody could hear me because I was just sitting in. We've all been there. Talking. Don't worry. <laughs> Second, a lot of what Todd said. Um, I my my first real experience with um, Green Schools Alliance was through the SA3 program two summers ago, and since then I've been serving as the regional coordinator in the southeast, um, and it. The Green Schools Alliance has really given me the leverage um, to create a network of people in the Southeast that I don't think really existed before. Um, and, you know, I, the, just being able to communicate with those close to you that are in similar schools as you, um, even those that are not in similar schools as you, is uh, just been a tremendous, tremendous help um, to have that network of people close to you to be able to go to to ask questions to to get ideas from um, and to share with. Um, we last spring, past spring, um, hosted the a Green Schools Alliance conference, um, the first sort of in the southeast, and um, had a pretty good turnout for you know it being the first time and we're hoping that it's something that we can continue in the future at least biannually um, or every other year rather, sorry. Um, and you know, like I said, we've, we've got a great network of, of people here now because of Green Schools. So we're hoping we can continue that movement and keep bringing new schools into the fold. Thank you, Amelia. It's great to hear that. And, and thanks for all your effort to grow the movement in the Southeast. Thanks for sharing. David, did you want to share, sure, sign in, add in any? <laughs> You know, I've been involved with Green Schools since probably the inception. I've been working and mentoring at the SC3 at, in West Virginia since the first program. I think what, S, what Green Schools does is what, I, what I, I represent, I think, is that, that wherever I go, Green Schools goes with me. I give talks at various uh, national uh, conferences and workshops. And whatever I do, Green Schools Alliance is part of my descriptive of where I come from, where I'm, what I'm talking about, where I, where I am. Uh, I think that we, I attend most of the Green Schools Alliance uh, conferences in the Northeast. I spoke, I spoke in and worked at the one in Baltimore. Uh, and I went to the Green National, the National Green Schools Network, uh, the the one in Denver, and. Uh, I think that that was that was uh, representing Green Schools Alliance was 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 a a, a real strong component for, for who we are and distinguish what we do. And I think that that's simply a sense of in my own in my own school we are heavily involved in service learning. My classes are all based on service learning. Uh, we have a garden. We grow, well, everything we grow goes to homeless folks. We have a chicken house. Everything we grow in the chicken house goes to homeless. And the kids work there, and their reward is to take the food <laughs> where it needs needed the most. Uh, they realize that it's uh, that it is the reward in and of itself. Is the hard work is the is the reward, and the efforts go to where it's. Uh, I think where it's needed the most. That, that, those are the grades as well. I think again, it's, it's it, green schools is about service learning, is about service to to our community and our planet. I think this is what uh, we we, uh, we 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 are are leading. Okay. Thank you so much, David. And it's true, you are and you all are leading these incredible initiatives in your communities. And again, it's just it's very exciting and humbling to have you all um, connecting. I'm so thrilled that we're on this call. And thanks to each of you for sharing your experiences. I. I want to be very respectful of our time, and we we want to hear from you. We being, you know, myself and Peg and Katie and Vernique, and really would love to just open it up now for questions and comments of how can the Green Schools Alliance staff 
better support each of you. Hopefully through this webinar, you first of all get a sense of, of each, if you haven't met each other, you know, who who is out there and who's part of this regional and state coordinator team. And our hope and goal is that you feel a, have a better understanding of what the roles and responsibilities are in this leadership role. And I really hope that you know that we are here to support you, we being Green School Alliance staff. Specifically, I, um, as I mentioned, you know, I'm here every day to help support you, and I'm excited to do that. And I want to know, how, and we want to know how we can do that better. So, is there any ideas or anything that you need from us that you'd like to share at this time? We'll just open it up for a conversation or questions and answer questions if any of you have questions about information we've covered. You're also welcome for those of you that aren't able to, you know, that don't have the audio. I am looking at the question and answer section on the webinar. So you're welcome to use that or the chat. Any questions? Comments? I think Great. Well, I certainly uh, oh yeah, go for it. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I saw there was in the chat box something from Veronique that she wanted to add something. And I'm not sure if people know where the question button is. It's up at the top above the PowerPoint screen of Ask a Question. Thanks, um, and I don't know if, if Veronique is still there. She says, I'd love to add something. Yeah, I'm still there. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. I um, yeah, I think those, that question box is probably great if there's a huge webinar, but we're such a we're a small group, yeah. so um, please feel free to butt in. I'm <clears throat> I'm not really filling up the air as much uh, of, as to remind you that um, in the website, um, which is actually very deep, um, there is uh, there is a collaborative uh, little tool toolbox um, that is very, very well hidden, unfortunately. We'll try to promote it a little better because it's a wonderful thing. Um, Todd was talking about uh, hosting a conference um, locally, and it's something that if we truly, truly are to grow as an international global movement, we, uh, Curry being, you know, um, landlocked in, in, in Boulder, and, and you know uh, we've got our development director in Rhode Island. I'm in I'm in upstate New York. Well, Katie's in Connecticut. We can only attend, hope to attend, um, as as many uh, resource fairs uh, like the ones and conferences like the one Todd hosts um, as our budget allows. And we really would prefer not to use um, you know uh, our, our our funding. To travel when, frankly, it's you guys that are are being are going to be helping schools that would like to host a conference similar to uh, to Todd's uh, or Amelia's uh, or anybody else that you've you know who's who's who. Well, I personally find these conferences to be one of the one of the strongest things that the GSA can do, um, but a lot of schools don't really know how to do one. Um, and we have a little toolkit that was developed by crowdsourcing the, you know, the, the attendants and the producers' uh, comments and information and during the planning, sort of um, condensing all the, the, the intelligence that we know, having done, uh, having done a few are of our own, you know, i.e., uh, uh, strongly supported by the GSA, hosted at a couple, a couple of um, public schools in New York City, and um, and the takeaway is uh, actually extremely manageable uh, process that we take you through for a step on a step by step, um, you know, a, 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 with this little step by step guide. But this guide is always uh, it needs to be improved every year and refined, and and the exhibitor list needs to grow. And I want you guys to know that you can just download it, uh, edit it, and then upload it again as long as you report. If you could just give me a heads up that you've made some changes to the document to, to improve it somewhat, then uh -huh. um, again, this is really just a, a perfect example of of what the GSA is all about. That every resource on our website is open for discussion, for editing, for improvement, for better searchability. Um, every action that um, notable action that a school is doing that you may have rec or be recognizing in your region 
um, that uh, what you know, and if they've joined, great. We we should know um, if there's a story to tell. We should be able to feature it um, uh, on, during our you know in our monthly news blast and on our website. And if um, if there is there even potential funding opportunities for us, um, corporate corporations that we that might be uh, utility companies and other types of vendors that. Um, might be willing to um, offer discounts. This is your the eyes and ears in your region um, uh, for us, and you're also um, there to help the schools in your region uh, and uh, to to do what they want to do, um, which is really to to um, inspire other schools uh, and and celebrate their celebrate their actions through these um, wonderful conferences and workshops and expos. I'd like to jump in here for a second. It's Peg um, and um, GSA staff, and I just wanted to share um, that Katie Perry, you know, director of Green Cup Challenge, who of course you know uh, comes out of the schools um, and is you know staff for GSA. We had a call today uh, with um, the founders, the founding schools, not only of the GSA, some of the founding schools of the GSA, but also of the Green Cup Challenge. Just to 